Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we are going to get to put together for the third time and first time on video the American DJ Pro Vent Table 2. That's the new one and they did uh, fix one basic issue that there was on the original table was it was one large table that folded up but still required a lot of carrying around. Uh, they, this table is now no bigger than the box that it's in because the actual table splits in two. So that's a big handy dandy thing to have and makes it a lot easier to go around with. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly take it out of the box, we're going to put it back together again and then we're going to put the I-beam assembly back onto the back of the actual unit and that's where we can put our light fixtures on and banners, whatever else we want to add around the actual unit. So we'll start by opening it up, getting it all unpacked and see how quickly it's done. Now I've already done this three, two times already and I've taken it apart two times. This is where we have it in the showroom, right where we're standing. So we're going to make this happen. And once you've done it a few times, it's actually quite quick to do. Now, it's probably the only thing you're going to buy that doesn't plug into the wall that has the biggest impact in what customers think when they see you come to a show. Uh, this table makes it look very professional, gives your, gives your setup a finished look, it protects your equipment because it's high behind the railing. Now, if you just had the table scrim that went around your table, the only downfall is people like to lean on things. They come up to talk to you, and that's just not really that stable. So, well, we've taken out so far the two black bars, and these are going to be what supports the table and bridges everything together. We've got one of the panels out, so we'll quickly grab and get these out of the bag. So, now again, once you've done this a half dozen times, it should only take you a couple of minutes to put the whole thing together uh, because you'll have a rhythm, a routine, a way you'd like to put it together and get it all set up. And you also will probably get the bag to carry it around in, which is an add-on, but definitely well worth it. It's, uh, keeps everything together, you know you've got all your parts and you're not damaging anything. That's the best way to get the whole job done. Now, once we get it together, you'll see the finished look, but things like adding your own logo to the front, uh, they give you a panel for that. On one side says American DJ, and on the other side you can have yours. So if you're doing any promotional event and you want the opportunity to advertise what you're doing, by all means, if you're talking about, should I be putting my logo out when I'm actually doing a job? Uh, that's, you know, everybody's own opinion on that. Personally, uh, if you're doing a wedding, I don't think you should be advertising that way and letting people know. They know you're the DJ, you're the guy playing the music, you're the guy controlling the lights. Um, outside of that, I'd probably make you know, direct contact with potential clients. But again, I think you should always have it because the best way to get known is to do a lot of promotional events. Uh, you know, a freebie here and there with your name out there and using it to market is probably the best thing for getting good quality business. All right. So now we're actually up to the tabletop. So what we've done is we've gotten the two frames left and right and the whole front assembly done. The box has just got some black foam left in it, so we're going to move that aside. Quickly pick up all the plastic. And remember, inside every American DJ product comes an instruction manual and a catalog showing you all their other great products. do now is some quick assembly work. Make sure you've got the actual square blocks on the top. Make sure they're just a little loose in so this way we can put the support poles on it. Get the second one, line the two up, use your feet if need be. Make sure you don't snag your hand inside of it. 
My floor is a little warped here, so I got to give it a little effort. Again, I'm going to make sure the square blocks are loosened on both sides. Now we're going to grab the table support. This does two things. It's going to hold the table up, and it's also going to keep the entire frame together. So now the frame won't come apart because I've got table supports. Now the other thing that's also going to reinforce the front from being stable is once we actually put the board on the front. screws a little snug. I'm not trying to over tighten it. Again, we're just trying to make sure it doesn't pop up anymore, right? So I just finger tight. Uh, this is going to guarantee that everything lasts as long as it possibly can. Uh, we'll take a quick second and we will throw in the front board. It's all thumb screws. These all come included. If, they've, uh, if you're missing one, it's probably in the bag still. probably fell loose. So if it fell loose, just find it in the bag. Make sure you don't throw anything out until you're done. Get these four nice. And they're nice. They're a nice little finish there. Again, them tight. Uh, the idea is that you don't need any tools to put anything together here. There we go. That's off. We're going to grab the graphics. Now every once in a while, I mean you can't complain too much about it, but it does happen uh, because of shipping. Uh, like this particular one has a little ding in it. Uh, I mean I guess you can make an issue out of it, but ultimately this is the side that counts because I'll be, I'm putting it up for sale. So we sell this in our showroom, so we want our customers to see it. So we're actually advertising. So I want to show American DJ on this side. I mean, that's my intention, right? But you're going to want this side here. You're going to want to bring it to your sign guy. If not, just find a sign company that does quick and easy print that's affordable. Have your logo put on here. And this way you can put your logo on the front of this. So throw this on here. Get that in there and it's as easy as that. I'm going to now put the bolt right back on and put the butterfly on the back side. Well, I said the practical thing is here is that you know you're going to go do a show, you're doing a wedding, yeah, you know, you want to be able to walk in, you want to spend time setting up your equipment and sound testing it not putting your entire table together or trying to find a table. The worst thing is to do is to go to a show and ask them for a table. You know, they may give you a round table, they may give you a two foot table, they may give you a table that's about to fall apart. So at least this way, you're going to show up, you're going to be the professional one in the room. Alright, so we're up to number four. Get that last one in here. So normally in our showroom we display it this way, but for today, right now, for the video, I'm going to turn this guy around, bring it around this way, and we're going to give it a couple of spins. So there we go, there's the support bars, there's everything in place. This is our tabletop, now important, nope, there is a hole on one side, it's not carpet on one side, it is carpet on the other, and there's also some Velcro straps here as well. So. You can either use this to secure it to one of the black poles or help cable manage your system. So we're going to slide this on top. There is notches on both sides, so it's twice as thick on the edges, and that's also to stop the tail from sliding around. So all we do is pick this guy up. We're going to lay it down here. Boom. If this is all I have, I'm done. So now there's also a scrim that can go around the outside of it. Uh, you can also decide to do some, you know, in-house upgrades. You can. Uh, Get yourself some LED light strips and maybe trim it out a little bit so this way when you put your panel on it, it's got some nice lights. If you just cover up the front, uh, maybe you're going to go and uh, and get yourself some magic ball sort of things, little guys at the bottom, just put some color, some glitter on the front of it, make it look really nice. There we go. So now what we're going to do, we'll move it sideways a bit more, start putting the pulse on now this is the I-beam assembly. This is what helps you put your lights on. Comes with pulls. This all disassembles by the way. So this is the halfway point right here. 
So normally you collapse that. It comes with a bag in the kit when you actually buy it. So this way it's not an extra bag to buy. Now remember this is, this is an add-on for the actual main unit. So what I'm doing is I'm unscrewing this enough. Take off the bottom one. I'm in no rush for that one. Take this one here, I'm going to loosen it up. Almost to the point that it opens. Probably will end up opening it, there you go. I'm going to use that just to hold everything together. Clamshell together. Get that screw started again. Putting all the screws on the inside so this way no one's going to bump into it. It's not going to get in anybody's way. Uh, I'm just going to put that on. Finger tight for now, no more than that. Scaring myself there. All right. So now we can adjust those. I'm going to put that up higher if I really thought I needed to, but I think I'm going to be fine there. Grab the second one and do the same thing. Now, if you notice, they do have feet on them, and the feet are only about six to eight inches long. Considering that this is the back side of the DJ table, the side of the table that you're going to be on, I thought the legs probably could have been a little longer. I mean, ultimately, they're there to help stabilize the whole thing, but they're not. That's the way they are, so it is what it is. I don't think it's a serious issue. Safety notes when you're putting everything together. Uh, put all your equipment on the table, get everything all set up. Put the lights up on top last. Uh, because the manual does refer to the lights hanging downward, not upward. Uh, if you're going to play around with that, which includes putting the lights up instead of down, that's, you know, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying, you know, if you plan on trying that out, uh, put the lights on last. Uh, again, if the legs were longer, again, it's, this is your space. If the legs were twice as long, that probably would have been just fine. So again, I'm putting the, everything facing the inside. So again, that's in my space. Finger tight, no more than that, all the way around. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to take the top piece. So I do have to take my thumb screws off the top. So now I'm taking the thumb pieces off of here. This is the largest piece of the assembly, so when you're looking at your travel bag, that's how long your actual travel bag will be. Everything else will fit inside of there. Again, the idea is to make it collapsible, easier to carry, fits in a minivan, no problem this way. And there we go, we're going to take this piece, slide it on top of that piece, put thumb screws back on. couple of screws away from the whole thing put together. Alright, like that. Slide this right on top. I'm 510 so that, you know, that's the uh, minimum height you probably want to be to put that up here by yourself without having to have a seat. The last two screws go right here. Again, thumb screws, I'm just lining them up now, just to make sure everything's lined up. Again, no, no tighter than finger tights. You just need to hold the thing together. All the heavy work is done by all the connections. It's all done. Let's spin that around now.
we now have a finished piece. So take a look and see. Grab the manual. Up under there. So, from top to bottom, overall size, really well done. Okay. So here we are with our finished piece. What do we actually have? So the table itself is inside framework to inside framework, 48 inches. The actual table is about 47 and a half. It just fits on here snugly, which is exactly what we're looking for. Or snug. I can just wait for the comments of the corrections on that one. And uh, 23 deep. So that's what we have coming up back. Uh, there is a hole in the center of the table, which is four inches by two inches to get all your wires passed up and down. This space here, we've got 10 inch lip coming up from the tabletop and the table itself is to the top surface, 35 inches, which is kind of like your countertop height. The lights all the way to the bottom of the I-beam. So the bottom of the I-beam sits at 79 inches and the top of the I-beam sits at 87 inches. The I-beam's overall width, it's gonna be a tough one. All right, 99 inches, so that's eight feet, one inch. Eight feet, one inch, 99 inches from end to end. And overall height is eight inches. And the diameter, if I remember, is bizarre, one and a quarter. So one and a quarter is the diameter, outer diameter of the actual piping. So there you go. So remember, you have options here. These are two out of all the pieces you can get. Uh, we have our price tags here. So price tag first is for the table itself. Then we have options uh, like the table scrim. And that is called the Pro ETS Table Scrim for American DJ. Then we have the American DJ Pro ETS Bag. Then there's the actual American DJ Pro Shelf. Actually, I have the shelves, so hang on a second, I'll get those for you. There you go. These are the shelves. No, they're not blue. They're just covered because they're all punched aluminum and it's to keep everything looking nice. You just peel that blue off. These guys go on the actual corner just like that. You can use one or two. The kit does come with two in the box. There we go. We've done it. We've put every piece that we have on it. Now, all there is to do is pack it all up, put it in some bags and bring it on home. But there you go. Structure manual feature book, all the pieces you can get for it. Have a look down below if you've got any questions or comments or you're looking for all the model numbers, I'll list them down below for you as well. Uh, they're available pretty much everywhere. The hardest thing about this actual table is stock. So if you're thinking of buying one and somebody has one, buy it. Because the odds are when you need it and you decide to go buy it, it won't be there. So again, my name is Robin. You've been watching Expert Island. If you've subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, well, hopefully something like this gives you a reason to subscribe. See you next time. Bye now.